a text. Ah, my favorite Esco, I mean, normal human things. How's it going, boys, today? Something that is hated by absolutely everyone. A rage-inducing, no one wants to deal with it. But enough about your life, my dear viewer. Today, it's a mono blue deck, and it's gonna be, well, it's, it's pretty much your life just in magic format. So it makes it double the betterness, oh yes. So, the whole point of this deck is pushing people back, and, oh boy. <laughs> That was not even intentional, but you are a professional at pushing people back, I assume. Oh yes, uh, that probably explains the social anxiety and absolute a lack of social social skills. Am I right? Probably. But anyway, again, back to magic. It's so easy to get off topic in situations like this. So. This is a mono blue deck. We draw a lot of cards with things like frantic inventory and so on. Our whole main shtick is casting Omniscience, and there are two ways that we can do it. We can do it with Nyx Lotus, or we can do it with Flood of Tears. Nyx Lotus and Flood of Tears benefit from one thing, things on board. And so we have Omens of the Sea, we have Planeswalkers like Mulong, Young, Narset, uh, So Tiny, Frogify, and a uh, uh, Whelming Wave. Whelming Wave is kind of counterproductive to Frogify and uh, Tiny effects, uh, but at the same time, it is pretty decent because, well, it helps you survive a lot. And when we have this, we are gonna draw a lot of cards. We have three Fey of Fishes and four Seagate Restorations. That alone will draw you a very, very, very nice amount of cards. So, you know, keep that one in mind. This deck is all about that card drawing and everything, and our sideboard is pretty much the same thing. Overwhelming Insight, Aldo and Zebefani, one, because we don't need two. You know, infinity mana means infinity possibilities, but there are times when one Aldo and Zebefani could be useful. Jace is because we are a self-mill deck at the end of the day, and a little bit cleanse the mind just in case we want to go a little bit, well, more for no reason whatsoever. This deck is pretty good. It is, well, it is possible to lose with it. It is a fun deck more than anything else. And by fun, I mean masochistic, but hey, it is what it is. And, you know, with that being said, 23 lands to be specific. 3.7 average seems a lot, but remember, Omniscience and, you know, things like Flood of Thieves make it a little bit more expensive than in actual actuality it is. Because most of the cards are 1 and 2 drops. So, with that being said, boys, subscribe and maybe like the video. Liking the video is the best thing you can do for the channel. It helps a lot and thank you for everyone who does it. Also, there's a link down to the Patreon and Discord in the de description. And thank you for all the first people who support me in the Discord. It is a great, great, great help. So thank you everyone who chooses to support there. And with that being said, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens now, shall we? Let us go and show people what magic is all about. They're not going to be happy about it, but hey, I see it as doing a good thing. Going first, by the way, with this deck is extremely common. Seagate Restoration is not the best start, but hey, a frantic inventory in a mu into a Mulong Yang is not bad. Mulong Yang is like, I don't know, if you're making a... Uh, again with this? It's a discard deck. It's a Phoenix discard deck. I have dealt with this so many times already. It's Oh, no, it's not. Wait, uh, is Viscozy... Oh, of course, well... Wait, is he gonna ditch on the signs by any chance? Please ditch on the sign. No, 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 not my sky dancer. Yes, oh no, not the Omni Science. Oh no, what a tragedy. Not the Omni Science. Oh no, oh, oh, the horror. You are hurting me, enemy Kun. Please stop, not the Omni <gasps> You absolute animal. Okay, great. Well, it looks like we're playing against the control deck, maybe? I'm not sure. I was assuming it's a, is it Phoenix deck, because I, I don't know what's the deal. But, you know, Wizards really likes to match me against is it Phoenix decks. Which technically can be a good matchup if we get Narsets off the top. 
do nothing, draw a bunch of lands. C questionable, but I'll... Excuse me. Did you just what now, chief? Siphon insight. Okay. Honestly, not expected. If he drops a Narset from that, I will scream. Because, you know, obviously, I guess. Well? Oh. Okay, I guess do that. Huh. You know, this is a little bit an overpowered card because technically it's two cost, draw three, play two. Kinda a little bit a lot strong if you think about it. It's annoying, but you know, it is really strong most. Cling to dust! No. No. He's currently countering everything. Dude, I can't have a graveyard killer. Oh, that just that just ruins everything a little bit. Okay, let's see. What do we want? Probably a Jace. Yeah, let's go for a Jace. Why not? I want to I want to wreck his deck a little bit if he's going to try and wreck my deck. I do can play a dead game as they say. Sure! Sure, why not? Why- just- just- just keep on rolling, dude. J Did I really just play- uh, am I really against a 100% counter deck here? Scary Cactus. With a name like that, you probably have a win ratio close to zero. Maybe I'm a sacrificial- go blank, okay. Uh, yeah, sure. So... This is a horrible deck. But it has Graveyard Destruction, which makes it a really, really potent deck against me. I'm gonna drop this just for fun. So, so he sweats a little bit. Six, seven, that's seven. That means I can cast Seagate's Restoration, but Seagate's Restoration is not currently all that impressive. <laughs> so what am I supposed to do? This looks like a, such a horrible deck. Every time I see someone play go blank, I just instantaneously know that they're a bad player. <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know what's the deal with this, but people play go blank so much, but go blank is like so verse. Uh, what's, what's the name of the card? Uh, there's the inscription of ruin. You can, it is removal slash discards two things slash does everything slash does stuff. You can, you can achieve so much more by just using a good card like that. So, let's see. Uh, I'm gonna cast it because honestly I don't have any other choice now. Ooh, got a Narset. And literally everything else that I did not want. Damn, that's sad. Okay, Narset's kinda good. The problem is, probably not gonna work out because he's removing it. I don't honestly like playing in slow decks because we're kind of good against are you kidding me wow okay so this is a the worst bolus that can existence in that case well someone someone definitely delivers well not this guy he definitely does not deliver let's see seven Oh, there's actually a possibility, a probability that... Ooh. Well, Omen of the Sea is really good. Like, 50 years ago, but, you know, it, it is what it is. Okay, 7, 9. If I top deck a land, I can play Om Science. Really, now? Really? Fate? So, he's gonna minus Bolas to kill the Narset? Oh, come on, dude. Now, he probably sees the Omni Science, so you know it is what it is. Uh, Ravager. Yeah, sure, dude, sure. Uh, ravage me, baby. Okay, not that bad. Uh, how am. Wait, how am I doing this again? Drop this. Do this. Draw something. Uvu Science, essentially. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, yes, do this. Do this again. <gasps> Flood of... Oh, so time. Oh, 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 oh. Ah, oh, man, we're one off? You're kidding me. 
Uh, no! We aren't! Oh! Oh, say it ain't so! This was so absolutely... Because, you see, Flood of Thieves, you need four permanents. This counts as my permanent. Good, because the art is cool. Okay, watch this. Yep, that's it. And, and now we get Omniscience out on the field. And now we can, well, literally more or less play everything. Which is none of these things. Yeah, it's pretty much just the cycling effect, so might as well do it like this. There are so many posh, uh, options, so many possibilities what we can get here that... Okay, that just makes it double easy to win. I'm fine with that. And a uh, Narset. Yeah, Narset's fine. Narset's fine. We uh, Narset is the best chance to find something really intense here, I think. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Another Flood of Tears. Well, ain't that, sup ain't that convenient, as they say. And uh, just do this. And, you know, just replay everything yet again. I'm replaying everything because I want to get uh, rid of as many things as possible. Oh, four omens of the sea. Call yes, just just all my yeses. Another another one. Okay, uh, I'll I'll take it. And now we just do this until we're pretty much satisfied with. Oh yes, siri, Bob. And I'm just gonna do this until I am satisfied. Oh, frantic inventory. Yes, why not? Sure, sure. I'm okay, oh, not okay with that one, uh, but it doesn't exactly matter, because again, let's see, another Omniscience. Since now we have Flood uh, Seagate's Restoration, I'm obviously not gonna play extra versions of those things, uh, but, eh, not even gonna play that. Ah, uh, what a time to be alive. He should surrender, because, you know... I, I think he should understand that there's a very a, a very low probability of victory up in uh, up in here because I will just uh, outdraw everything and anything. Okay, let's see. Uh, all these lands useless. Oh, found the fey fishes. Okay, with the fey fishes now I can do the one thing that I kind of wanted to do a little bit. Uh, let's see. Is it all? Yes, it's all... Okay. Okay. So, my hand is infinite. Ah, eh, drop an asset. Why not at this point? So, at this point, I can just pretty much guarantee success, by the way. And how can I guarantee pretty much success? Well, by doing things like, for example, this and getting out of Epiphany. No one expects you to actually do this, but... You know, we do it anyway, because we're just that kind of a man. Not no nothing to this card there. And not so just doing a little bit more stuff. Mulan Yang, why not? I need. To, uh, I'm doing this mainly because I really need need to get my Jace. Seven, twelve cards. Blah blah blah. Uh, this seems fun. Four? Yes, four is fine. You know what, I'm just gonna pick this because I can. It doesn't matter, he doesn't have mana. Uh, it would have been the safest, obviously, uh, drop the Nyx Bloom, but it doesn't really matter in this case, as you can probably tell. As you can probably tell, it doesn't matter. Just get that, and wait, whoa! There should be one more, right? I have three. Did he exile one? No, that's one. Two. So there is one more. Okay, well, let me just do this in that case. I think I... I may have done something. There we go. Never punished. At the end of the day, you can't punish the one who created punishment itself. And that's... Pretty cheeky if I could find Seagate's Restoration. And there we go. Backside, alternative cost. Uh, draw, draw, co alternative cost, draw. That's a, that's a hard one. Uh, there we go. Easy. Let's win more games. At least that's what I say my, uh, to myself. Well, hey. You know what's gonna be cool? Tomorrow. Tomorrow is gonna be real good. You know why? 
Tomorrow I have something special. I have concocted. Currently only on a theoretical level because I did not get uh, to doing it. A cycling deck. But it's, n but it's no ordinary cycling deck. It will not have any flares or any of the casual, you know, plebeian things that you would uh, normally expect from a cycling deck. Oh, no, 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 no. We are gonna be ci a cycling deck, but you're gonna only be able to go like, Oh, wow, I did not see this. Why is this even a thing? Oh! No, I, I have never seen the, a cycling deck like that that I'm gonna make, and I have never played against a cycling deck like that. So it's definitely gonna be something. Also, do I wanna drop this as whatever? Currently he's doing nothing, even though he's clearly a ram deck. He didn't have any counter spells, so... Ubu, I guess. How many cards? Seven. Seven. He should be doing something now. Growth Spiral. Okay, we're playing the growth game, huh? Very cool, very cool indeed. Uh, nothing to frogify though. Let's see if he counterspells. Or does he draw? I think this could be just a ram deck. Another frogify, yeah, that's not gonna be too useful, sadly. Uh, go like this. Don't tell me you legitimately have counter spells. At this point, that would be just uh, a flat-out betrayal of my trust that Let's Pretend existed. Because this hand is honestly perfect, by the way, if you haven't noticed. If I can get Frogify on some... You're kidding me! You actually have counter spells! Are you Simic Flash by any chance? Dude, no way! There's no way you're a Simic Flash deck. Because you're not doing anything currently. And that's not how Simic Flash does things. Um, I guess do it like this. Five lands. I don't want to use the Seagate. Suddenly perfection has been a little bit aloof. Hello there. Well, you know what? Yeah, sure. You can turn it into something, but it's not gonna have damage. It needs to deal combat damage. Wait! This is a mutate deck, isn't it? What happened in, uh, with mutate decks in Frogify? I, I know I have seen the interaction, but I have honestly forgotten the interaction. <laughs> okay, okay. So, how am I gonna do this? Do you think he has more? Okay, I, I need to do this. I don't want to, but just to be safe. If you counterspell this, I will scream though. To remove. Quench. Hey, boy, what up? What up, what up? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. 6-8. Eight. 8 is decent. I can frogify for a little bit more, and I guess that's fine. Just one more win, and we will be in what, what's above gold? Platinum? So, something, something extremely good. So let's just... Ooh, a text. Ah, my favorite Esco. I mean, normal human things. Ah, what a good day or a night. Depends. Anyway, one more win and it's gonna be... Oh. Ah, well, I do have So Tiny. God, I love So Tiny. It's so... No. Man, So Tiny doesn't matter. Okay, wizards. Okay. Okay, I give up. I lose. You didn't have to put me up. Hmm. This could possibly maybe work, I'm not sure. Anyway, please don't do- at least don't be perfect. Ranger class, I'm s you're, you're the worst elf deck I have seen in my life. Honestly, you're so bad at being an elf deck, I, I, I think it's pathetic. Holy! Uh, let me do the- I need to draw a land. Okay, whatever. Uh, just- just wait, I guess? Okay, currently this could be amazing, because it's not an elf deck and that just gives me confidence. The problem is we're gonna have the sack so tiny and we don't have a... Uh, no, well, we currently just don't have a land, which is a real problem. Uh, seriously? Is that gonna be your whole play? Okay. He does that. Yeah, it makes sense. 
Uh, it doesn't really matter what I put it on now. Oh, he does it on that. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it on that in that case. Uh, if I get this, it's... Oh! Uh, that's not a lot better, though. This is not a lot better. Now I'm gonna be kinda at the mercy of whatever chooses to happen. I'm gonna have a Narset for free, essentially, but... Wait, what? Oh, hold the phone! That's a little bit like... That's a little bit much, my dude. That That's a little bit a lot much. Can I play this and still get it off? Yes, I can. Good! Good! That's That's actually very good. Didn't expect that. Okay, well, maybe I should probably exp Ooh! Hello there, Frantic Inventory. Frantic Inventory is a little bit more decent at the moment. Uh, did I draw a land? Will I just flat out lose? No, there's no way I... Yeah, there's no way I lose. So, Frantic Inventory will be a risk I am willing to take at the moment. I'm along young. Uh, you know what? This is gonna be super strange, but this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bet all my eggs on a basket that I survive until next turn. <laughs> oh god! Did I do a boo-boo? If he drops another- no, he can't even drop another one. An ooze? Yeah, that's kinda anticlimactic. Uh, four, eight. Yeah, eight is fine. Please don't kill the Narset, though. I kind of, I'm kind of a big fan. Oh no, he's trying to be. S no, wait, 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 wait. Dude, he's legitimately just going full on me, huh? Wow, that is unexpectedly s bad. <laughs> that is very unexpectedly bad. Anyway, if I pay this, how much can I get? Uh, first thing comes first, I guess. Oh, this is fine-ish. Okay, get this. So, can I use it? I still have four left. Yeah, I can use it, I can use it. Like, the chances that he has something that does stuff that I don't like, uh, minimal. Mini 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 minimal. Okay, got it. Uh, oh! Oof, this is actually not good. But he won't be able to just play everything he wants, so it is kinda okay-ish. Um, elf? Another elf? Wow, so surprising, I guess. Let's see, how much can we do here? Oh, that's a little bit annoying, but it's kinda dealable bit. Okay, so the thing is, I play Mulong Young, right? Yeah, I play that, then I play this. Do I frogify? Dude, I don't have enough stuff at the moment. Okay, do it like this, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Six on seven. Wait, what's my options for the Fae of Wishes? Damn, there's no nothing in the Fae of Wishes for me, huh? Okay, do this. <sighs> not liking it one bit, not gonna lie. Okay, ma ma maximum throttle essentially at this point. What can I do with this? I can't do anything. Yeah, I can't do anything. Eight. Eight is... There's no way I don't hit it with another... Okay. Again. As long as this guy does not magically just have a questing beast, which I don't think, honestly, you play in a deck like this, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong about this. The only thing that kills me is a... Nice! Okay, there's no way. There's no way we don't hit any... There's no way we don't hit a blizzard brawl. Oh, that's cute, but no cigar, my sweet, sweet friend. Admittedly, that means I only have one Fae of Wishes left in the deck, which makes me a little bit... Well, it makes me a little bit cautious. Oh, if only there was a world where I could just... Not block... Wait, wait, maybe he chooses to not attack. 
No! No, no, it's ultra dead. Okay, okay. Could be worse. It all it could always be worse. That land though was completely useless, not gonna lie. So I could you do the pushback or I could just do this and call it a day. Win. Oh god, we actually got it. For a the moment there I, I thought that we legitimately did not get it, by the way. I'm gonna turn you into nothing. It doesn't make a difference, but that's just the way I am. Okay, now we got everything. Now we finally got the sauce. Man, took forever, honestly. But, you know, it's fine. Uh, how much... Man, I don't have a lot, huh, honestly, here. Okay, another Omni Science. Yeah, it's a little bit too late for all of those Omni Sciences, though. Ooh, a Seagate's Restoration with 13 cards in hand? Well, why not? That's a lot of draws. That's the... F how many? Uh, 13. 13 draws left. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let me just do this. And... I'm gonna do the extra turn. Because, again, I just I just flat out can. And I... I you know, it just makes the... It just makes the whole thing a little... There we go. You know what's kind of funny? Every time we do a mono blue deck, it is not the best deck. It's not supposed to win this many games in a row. But somehow, magically, well, it, it just does. So, there you kind of have it. Omen of the Sea going first. This could work or this could be bad mulligan. I don't have anything that comp... Ooh. Well, now, this is questionable. The next Lotus is good, but two lands. Well, I guess it's time to lose, finally. Winning too much seems odd to me. Just does not seem reliable. Cat on purple. And let's hope that this is some kind of bad... Let's just hope he's AFK, okay? <laughs> yeah, that's the easiest way to do stuff. Just hope your opponent is AFK and, and there you have it. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Yeah, how about I turn that into a, a frog? Wait, no, can't turn that into a frog just yet. First I need to do this. Then I can turn it into a frog. Okay. Omen of the Sea, prepping that next lotus like, you know, it's something illegal. Oh yes, that kind of prepping, boys. The one that every Twitch streamer is accused of in his career at least one time. Ah, uh, yes, the good times. Okay, two of that. Can I wait? What's the plan here exactly? Uh, frogify because I don't like you. Then we do this. There is absolutely no uh, no point in keeping Narset alive at the moment. Well, Narset for the Narset seems fine. Also, okay. I drop this and this, that means we have 8-ish man if everything goes well. Bishop of Wings! Ah, oh, suddenly I don't like anything anymore. Okay, oh, let's hope he's out of steam. Let's hope he doesn't get anything. So tiny, so tiny is not gonna be the thing that saves me here. I need the land. Oh, so tiny. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it. Just do it like this in that case. Okay, good enough. And do this. Five lands, a lotus, seven, eight, eight. Not set so tiny, wave after that. Oh no, that's bad. That's really bad. Oh my, dude! Yeah, I, ca I, I called it. I called it. It's impossible to win this much. It's, it's just impossible. It, it should be impossible by every means. Okay. So the real question is, can I survive next turn? Probably not, unless I do this. Okay, uh, yeah, it, w it, w it was sadly impossible. We don't have the setup. This is actually very winnable, but not for exactly this type of deck that we're, uh, we're doing here. Might as well cast so tiny on it. Uh, he's just dropping stuff to the maximum, so he can drop this and deal maximum damage. But there is a small chance, there is a sliver of hope, there is a sliver of possibility. Ooh. Well, that's pretty good, not gonna lie. Okay! 
This actually gives us a chance. That's gonna also be four permanents on the board with Nash set. Okay, okay, since there's no way he wins next. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Why? You're not even doing the full, uh, full assortment of damage. Like, what's wrong with you, dude? Oh. Two, two, so, oh, this is, if we win this, this is mostly luck. Yeah, if we win this, this is mostly luck. Like, look at this, this is not even enough to make me care. Yeah, that's not even enough to make me care. But it is what it is. Okay, let, let's search it. Uh, Mulan, Yan, Frantic Inventory. Frantic Inventory, congratulations, you're my best friend now. Uh, nothing of value. Well, I do what must be done. Good enough! So I wonder if he's gonna do the exact same thing he just did now. Or is he gonna... No, there's no way he does, right? I get an extra turn from that, and that's... Oh my god, the play... The app... The oh, the absolute plays... Okay, what am I doing here? Or more precisely, how am I doing doing here? Uh, another frogify. No, frogify is not honestly that needed. Okay, so obvious things are obvious. Wow, that was horrid. That was absolutely unquestionably horrible, but hey, it is what it is. Let's see, another notch set. Another notch set is not bad. Again, notch set will allow us to draw things that I like. So, turn it into a frog, I guess. It gives us a little bit more. I, he can't kill us. How, how are we alive? But by the way, if our deck was actually a bounce deck, then I would be really happy. Because uh, the, the, this is the weakest type of deck you can play against a bounce deck in a lot of aspects. So yeah, I would kind of be happy, but again, we're not a bounce deck, we, we are an uh, infinity combo deck. So, uh, weaknesses. And we currently have not hit one of our three things that does the good stuff. Yeah, 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 that's that's very cool and whatnot, uh, uh, my friend, but you know, is it is it gonna do enough? Because Chubbum's now a frog. Really? Really? Um... Okay, that seems good enough. Does it even matter, though? Okay, you know what? It's not gonna matter, so, you know, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, there is a chance... No, actually, there is... Oh, f uh, frantic inventory. Well, ain't that nice. Okay, whatever. <laughs> the, okay, we have Frogify for the Angel. Ooh! Ooh! Yeah, there's no way we miss. Oh, there's absolutely no way we miss. Yeah, alternative cost, baby! Let's see, 16 cards. Did we not get a single Fay of Fishes, though? Yeah, we did not get a single Fay of Fishes. Where are they? Well, I'm gonna find them sooner or later. <laughs> oh, boys. Okay. Really? Still no Fay of Fishes. Wow! Still- oh, wait. Am I missing something? They're not dead. Yeah, they're not dead. So, where are all my Fae of Fishes? Well, we're winning no matter what, but the Fae of Fishes... Where? How? Why? Uh, What do I cast even here? Well, probably these things. Fair fishes. Oh, there it is. There it is. A good game, my dude. I, I don't know how we did it, but we won. We, we won a lot. It, amazing out of 10 would probably be amazed out of 10 again. And where is our Seagate restoration? And a GG, boy. A GG. Pretty easy. Unexpectedly good results, but hey, it sometimes happens. Well, it seems to happen, ironically, every time we do a blue deck. Uh, but whatever. Anyway, 
This was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, Ham Dollarity. Check out the channel. Check out Discord. Check out the Patreon. And have a nice day. Bye bye.